Synopsis of the Books of the Bible Major Prophets Ezekiel By J. and R. B. Chapters 13 and 14 The False Prophets and the People Punished Together Ezekiel 13 judges the prophets who deceived the people in Jerusalem by their pretended visions of peace. In Ezekiel 14 the elders of Israel come and sit before the prophet. Here God sets distinctly before Israel the new principles on which he would govern them. These elders had put their abominations before their eyes. God, himself will judge them according to their transgressions. As a nation, they were all alike. Jehovah could only say to them, Repent ye. The prophets and the people should be punished together. Even if the most excellent of the earth should be found in a land which Jehovah judged, they would not hinder the execution of the judgment, they would only save their own lives by their righteousness. God did not own a nation, the only one he had he had now rejected, he did, the individually righteous. Compare Genesis 18. Now God was bringing all his judgments upon Jerusalem. Nevertheless, a remnant should be spared and the proofs they would give of the abominations committed in the city would comfort the prophet with respect to the judgments accomplished on it. And so it is, the judgment of God, who gives his people up to their enemies, is a burden to the heart of one who loves the people, but when the manner in which the name of God had been dishonored is seen, the necessity of the judgment is understood and felt.